What's up, guys? Let me know if you guys can hear me. How is the audio, guys? Give me some quick feedback. Sorry about last time. Um, we totally just got disconnected. It was a little crazy. And I had to run, so I couldn't just jump on again. What's up, Russ? What's up, Steven, Hector, Harold? Good so far. Thank you so much for the update. So it seems like the audio is okay. Can you guys hear me clearly? Clear? Is it clear? Jack, lifetime VIP. Awesome, awesome. So let me know, guys, if you are a Learn Auto Body VIP member, just type in VIP from wherever you are. Um, I got good news. Good news. Uh, I just found out that the X88 will be shipping in, in less than two weeks. They are arriving at the main warehouse very, very soon um, at Zula. And I got my versions direct a couple days ago. And this is what they look like. Special edition X88 Infinity. Um, and there's only going to be 100 of this color combo. Pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure they still have some. If you go to Zula.com, they still have them. And it comes with a 1.3 and 1.4 size tip kit uh, standard. So how is everybody doing? I got a new video that just came out, guys, if you want to check it out. It is the... The Honda CRV uh, off-road tire video. We just put that out. I just recorded it. The car is not done. I'm actually working on it as we go. So the car is not done. I'm going to start sanding it. Hopefully this weekend we're going to start doing body work on it. Uh, this week, next week, and it should be painted. I, I don't say – I don't think it would be – it's going to take no longer than two weeks – from this weekend to get it done because I'm not like full time on it. It's not going to be like I'm at the shop every day, but we will get it done. There's not a lot of body body work, mostly just sanding. I have all the Raptor liner. I have to go out and got, buy the clear coat. Uh, a friend of mine, Tony, who has the body shop here, he says he has extra paint for me because he just painted a truck, uh, the quicksand color from the Toyota Tacoma. So that's pretty cool. I might have to buy an extra quart, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, it's going to start looking really cool. Once we lift it, I might get a roof rack on it just to make it look a little bit more off roady. But uh, yeah, that thing will be painted very, very soon. It'll be complete very soon. And uh, I'm excited about that. So how is everybody doing? Is everybody doing good? Give me some feedback. How is, uh, how are you doing? How's your family? How is the whole COVID situation down by where you are? How is everything? Things are good here in Hawaii. As you guys saw on Instagram, I was at the beach the other day. Um, I'd like to go back again. Um, yes, roof rack, great for surfboards. Yes, I want to get back into surfing. So uh, little by little, my new blue snowball ice mic works. Ice mic works well. Those are cool little mics. I think you're gonna like it. I have some version here. I don't. I don't even know what this is. I just got it off of Amazon when I was in Japan. I needed a little mic. It's not my audio technica. That one's in Texas, but it is what it is. So yeah, guys, I'm super excited. We're going to start putting out a lot of new videos as you see. Oh, we have another video coming out on the CRV in the next couple days that basically kind of shows you the pre-clean before paint. The pre-clean before paint. I show you how I razor blade uh, the windows down, how I am scrubbing out the molding and trim before you paint and how like when you, you know, get the hose, like grime comes out. You want to make sure the car is super clean before you start to do any body work and paint because if it's not, when you're painting, you could get dust and leaves and crap come out onto your paint job, which you don't want, right? So it's very important to clean your projects down very thoroughly before you start auto body and paint, okay? So we have another, uh, that's going to be like a short clip, maybe six or seven minute clip for you on YouTube. So as the project progresses, you're going to see me go through every step of the process on the CRV. And then at the end, we will kind of have like an A to Z detailed version for VIPs. Okay. The VIPs are going to get the, 
you know, the, the voiceover, the, 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 the extras, you know what I'm saying? To take you really through the whole process. So I'm glad you guys are all doing well. Yeah, Russ, I have a one and a half inch lift on the way. I'm waiting for it. As soon as I get that, we're going to lift the truck up another inch and a half. Just a little. It's just the basic spacers. Okay, we're just going to lift it up a little bit. Um, it's going to look really, really nice. What else? What else, guys? So if we have how many newbies on here? Newbies on here. Never been um, on here live. How many newbies? Okay, so let's if you guys have any auto body Q&A, hit me up. Let me know. I am ready to take the questions if you want. So we got a lot of VIPs on the line. Washington, VIP for life. South Africa looks great. Tony, CRV is beginning to look mean. Yeah, it's going to look good, man. It's going to look good, guys, when it's done. What's up, Aaron Smith? What's up? Ed, Tony, why do people drive a car with damaged paint? <laughs> Maybe because they can't afford to get it fixed. I'm driving a car with damaged paint. I actually like driving a piece of crap. It's really like incognito. Like it's all faded. It's 16 years old. It's It doesn't stand out. You know, I'm like, I'm like incognito driving around. I like it. Aaron says, we're good here. My eight-year-old just got done with baseball, so I'll be back more on Thursdays. That's awesome, Aaron. Things are pretty good here in Queensland. Aussie, love your videos. Thank you, Rex. My mom was born in Queensland. Oh, that's cool. Good stuff, Tony. Will be awesome. Great to hear, Aaron. Voiceovers are what I enjoy the most. Have you ever used KBS frame coatings? I have not. Well, what is that? Is that like just a, a undercoating? or they don't know how to fix it and you're not worried about other drivers. Yes, I'm not worried about other drivers. They need LABAP. <laughs> so what's new guys, what's new? Any any auto body questions? Any, any technical Q&A? New VIP first timer. Ed, when did you join Ed? When did you join VIP Ed? If you have any, questions let us know we do these once a week i might bring them back twice a week a little later but i just have all these projects i got to get done so a little busy at the moment how do you like my beautiful butterfly coffee cup <laughs> so yeah I ordered a bunch of products from zula as well we got quick cup systems in all sizes coming I'm getting prepared for the paint job. I'm going to be spraying the uh, CRV and the bike. I don't know about the bike, but I'm going to be spraying the CRV with uh, the X27 or the X88. I'm not sure yet. What do you think? Should I spray it with this one or the X27, um, Adam X27? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll spray both. Maybe I'll use the X27 high volume, low pressure for base coat. And then I will use this low volume, low pressure version of the X88 uh, for clear coat. Tony, can I fully paint a car with a small compressor and a low volume, low pressure gun? Uh, you can, but it's going to be tricky because you have to play catch up with your air compressor, you know, because it's going to fill up and then you're just going to use all your air volume while you're painting your panels and then you have to wait for your compressor to catch up again. So it's tricky. I've done it. I've painted a complete car single stage with my 33 gallon. Um, what was it? It was a craftsman. I think it was a 1.5 horsepower craftsman back in the day. I wouldn't recommend it because especially for a newbie, because it's tricky because you have to wait, and you got to make sure that you're laying your paint on glossy. And when it starts kind of like when you start losing your air volume, you have nothing to do but to stop and wait for your tank to fill up and have more volume. So I would really recommend uh, low volume, low pressure. OK, with any kind of painting, low volume, low pressure is a great gun, especially for clear coat. 
And I would recommend you upgrade your air compressor. You need more volume to paint the complete car unless you tackle the job in pieces, okay? Unless you're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna do the hood and two fenders. Uh, yes, you can paint with a turbine. There's a couple of good turbine systems out there now. Um, I am actually, as a matter of fact, I am in the con I'm in the works with getting a turbine system. So maybe hopefully in the next couple of months we'll be spraying with the turbine system um, at the shop somewhere, not at home here. Um, will a 60 gallon 2.2 kilowatt three horsepower compressor be good enough for a full paint job? Yes, Gavin, yes, it will. Stephen Mitchell says, can I clear over a one shot pinstripe paint? Never painted pinstripe before, always use tape. Yes, you can. You can clear right over it. I want to try my first paint job on my 1989 Volvo 240 with a JS, Jay-Z swap. Should I apply sealer over the old single stage paint? It's not needed, Michael, but if you want to, you can. You don't have to put a, a sealer over it. You can actually just use a 2K filler primer as your foundation coat and basically wash that down with four, 500 grit, and then paint over that. Jack said, resprayed quarter panel and fender on the, the Model A. Lots of orange peel this time, cut buff suggestions. Well, I'm not sure why you got so much orange peel this time. Your last jobs came out really nice. Was it maybe too hot? Did you have a, a medium reducer? Maybe you should have used a, a low low temp reducer. I'm thinking it didn't have enough time to flow out. Um, but as far as cutting, I would go with, you could probably wash it down with a thousand grit just to kind of shortcut it um, and then move to 15, 2000, maybe 15 and then straight to 25. But I would definitely finish it off with 25, maybe even 3000 grit after the 25, just wash it down with 3000, get it nice and smooth um, before you do your buffing. And I would use basic compound when buffing with a wool pad, get it glossy, and then go over it with a foam pad. You could use the 3M perfected system. It's a good system. I have the same system downstairs in my garage. And we're going to be doing more demos with that type of stuff if I need to cut and buff on the Honda CRV project. But maybe even if I don't have to cut and buff, maybe I'll just do like a quarter panel or, or the highlighted areas around the car just to show you how to, how to bring up even better gloss, you know, around the highlights. Because not all paint jobs need cutting and buffing, but sometimes you want to go around the highlights kind of where you see the most and where the light hits usually the top of your fenders maybe your hood um you know the top of your door doors and quarter panels around the car you know what i mean that area usually i like to cut and buff um, but if it's a custom job you're getting paid extra or if it's a sentimental project one of your own show cars that you're working on sometimes you want to take the time to cut the whole thing down you know, get it glass smooth and then basically buff the whole job out. I mean, that's what I used to do with a lot of my uh, personal projects, you know. And uh, we will be doing that on other projects, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that on the CRV. You know, it's, uh, it's going to be a quick paint job. We're going to bang the body work out. We're going to put a quick paint job on it, but a good paint job, you know, a good $4,000 give or take paint job. So it looks really nice. Uh, we're going to do the undercoating. So it look really good. You guys are going to see the whole process, A to Z. <sighs> Medium reducer, maybe too high pressure. Looked like maybe 26. I don't think so. I don't think it was too high of pressure. Um, maybe you weren't close enough to the panel to lay it on well. Maybe you were kind of spraying a little too dry. That happens. Jim Kutch, is it the same theory when clearing with a small compressor? Is it the same theory when clearing with a small compressor? You mentioned paint and doing it in pieces. I'm not sure how you feel about laying clear down. 
yes, it's the same theory, Jim, um, when doing clear coat. So if you're going to be doing it in parts, you're going to be doing the base in parts, and then you're going to be doing the clear coat in parts, just those pieces. What's up, Bradley, Pennsylvania? Thank you, Tony. You got it. No problem, Jack. Uh, Gerald Brown, should I use an adhesion promoter? It depends, Gerald, what adhesion promoter on what? Usually on plastic, yes. Bare sanded plastic, yes. You could, you could throw a shot of adhesion promoter before you put your uh, primer on top of it. Tony, can I sand with a small compressor? Absolutely, yes, you can, because you can't really screw up when you're sanding, right? If your DA starts to bog down and you can't really sand, it's not like you're in the middle of spraying clear coat and you have to stop, right? So you just wait for your air compressor to cut, to, to beef up and then, um, and then you just start sanding again. Um, I was afraid of putting runs in it again. Jack, don't be afraid. Tony, can you talk about the different results between a 1.0 and 1.4 tip? I want to spray my engine bay with the X16, wondering which tip to use. Okay, a 1.0 tip, and let me talk about the gun Aaron is using. Aaron has the X16 here, um, the Atom X16, same gun. Um, I have the 1.2 tip on mine. Uh, he's talking about a 1.0, 1.4. If you put a 1.4 on this mini gun, you can see how small it is compared to a full-size gun. Right? This will spray like a full-size gun, but it will just be compact. So you'll have a compact gun that will spray like a full-size, which is really cool uh, with this X16 here. I would actually put the 1.4 on because with the 1.0, you're not going to get enough paint out as you would need. So I would totally put a 1.4 on here. 1.0 is good for graphics or if you want to. What's up, Alan? Hope you're doing well. I just got to Hawaii a couple weeks ago. We should touch base, man. Um, I've been thinking about you, by the way. Uh <laughs> So where was I? I was talking about this. So the good thing about the X16 is it's a lot smaller. You can get into little crevices and areas under your hood and whatnot, and you can have a smaller paint cup on it, which makes it a lot more maneuverable when you're spraying inside of an engine bay. So this is a really good, I would definitely use the 1.4 tip size. Uh, the 1.0, like I said, is good for graphics. So if you want to kind of do some fading, you want to have a little one inch or a half inch stream of paint come out. That's what I would use the 1.0 for. Alan, good to see you, man. We got to touch base. I just got back to Hawaii two, like three weeks ago. I was in quarantine here. We were in Japan for many months, like stuck there. Everybody knows on the channel here, like they were following me through the whole thing. It's kind of crazy. You got it, Aaron, no problem. And guys, if you want to know what gun Aaron is talking about or, or what I'm talking about, it's at Zula.com. I'll drop the link quick. You can check it out there. It's the X16 Atom Spray Gun. Okay. Hey, Tony, watching from my hospital bed. Oh, my God, COVID-19. I sent you a video and pictures of my last of my last project became sick, become sick. LR Wilson, I did not get it. I will double check my emails. Maybe my support girls got it. I hope you get well soon. LR. Seeing if I can get your images up here. I don't see it. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the chat quick. 
Recommendation on stores or online retailers that have paint respirators and sanding masks in stock for sale. Well, that's a tough one because I've been looking online and they are a little hard to come by. I actually got my paint masks at Home Depot, my painting paint masks at Home Depot. You might want to check Home Depot maybe. Uh, English Color is a good automotive paint supplier. Amazon, I don't know. Did you guys check Amazon? I mean, Amazon usually has everything. Let's see. Paint mask. Um, they got them in stock on Amazon, the 3M, 26 bucks. The same exact one I use. So double check Amazon. Everybody's saying Amazon has them. What's up, Patty? Thank you for the email the other day. Um, you're always like sending me off the cuff emails. Thank you so much. I get them. And yeah, we are trying to get Sandy over here. She's, she's still stuck in Texas. My beagle, my godparents are watching Sandy. And uh, it's been, you know, it's been a while. I haven't been to Texas in like, when did I leave Texas? March? No, before that, February, February. I haven't been in Texas in six months. Oh my God. <sighs> hey, Tony, can I sand with an orbital sander? Absolutely, of course you can. Orbital sander is what you want to sand with, especially if you're going to be cutting um, body filler and things like that. Cool. Any other questions, guys? I need to stream this live on Facebook, too. I got to start doing that. Like, we could do, like, a live Facebook stream and YouTube at the same time. I think that would be – I need to start doing that. It's just been so crazy. I've been moving all over the place. It's been ridiculous. Okay, let's see. How's Maya, Lonnie, and the family? Everybody's doing great, Gavin. Thank you so much. We're doing great. Check my IG. Um, you'll see like updated pictures of, of everything going on over there. Cutting high build uh, primer on a bumper. Yes, you could do it with a uh, DA, no problem. What grit to use on primer? So you could use 320 grit, 380 grit, anywhere in there. And then I would actually finish it with 400 wet sand, 400 wet sand. So Jack just said 37 watching and nine likes. Guys, hit the like button. I don't like to say that, I, I don't care really, but Jack's telling you to hit the like button, guys. Aaron Smith, inflatable paint booth showed up last week, let you know how it goes when I power it up. Aaron, where did you buy it? What model? Send me, send me the information. I would love to know what you got, actually. Maybe email it to me, tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Antonio, what do you think about this 26-gallon cobalt compressor for small paint jobs? Uh, the link is not showing up. I believe you can't put links. Arnold Ricchetti, our moderator, said he couldn't make it. He just Facebooked me. Uh, he said he could not make it today as issues. He has to do some things with his family. So it is what it is. I am doing, I am a longtime VIP and been through all your videos. Thank you, Paul. Tony, I'm helping a young kid across the street paint his 2001 Accord. The clear peeled badly. Want to sand it down. Jim, stay tuned on the CRV project because as you saw, the clear is peeling really badly on that thing. So I got a new head cam. I got a new head cam. I'll be doing a review on this thing as well. Uh, we're going to be recording that on head cam. So you're going to see exactly how it's done. We already have videos and VIP with all this stuff, but it's a new project, new camera. We're going to get more footage for you guys. All right. 40 bucks on Amazon, guys. I'm, I'm interested to see how this thing shoots. I remember I paid... 200 something bucks for my app, my uh, GoPro a couple of years ago, Cl probably close to 300, 40 bucks. 
It's amazing. Made in China, but hey, what isn't made in China? Okay, let's see. Um, opinion on Ukraine paint. Seen a lot of good reviews, but the price is so low it makes me suspicious. Honestly, I have not used their paint, so I don't know what to tell you. Maybe in future videos I can do like some reviews on them, but I don't know. Sorry about that. Okay, I have solvent pop from bad from a bad paint job. When I sand, there are layers, feather and fill. You might just be able to, Patty, you might just be able to just sand it out. Solvent pop is very small. It might just sand right out. I don't know. If, if, if you feel like you have to fill it, then I would definitely use um, uh, a 2K glaze putty. You could use dolphin glaze. I like dolphin glaze. I actually got to get some. You can use dolphin glaze. I got to order some of the dolphin glaze, actually. And, uh, and do it. I would definitely use dolphin glaze, though. Tony, I sent you an email. Check it. Check it sometime if you can, please. I will. Jim Kutch, 400 grit. What's easier to paint with small compressor? One stage or two stage paint doesn't have to be perfect. Well, one stage paint, single stage paint is a lot cheaper, but it will get all over the place. You know, you're gonna get a lot of overspray with single stage. It's easier to paint because you got no clear coat. It's just two, two or three coats of paint and you're done. Two stage paint, you gotta spray your color. You gotta put two or three coats of color. Then you're gonna put two or three coats of clear coat. I usually like to put two coats of color, two coats of clear. That's my, my, my protocol, my steps. That's how I do it, okay? Um, I would say go with a one stage. It's cheaper. You'll be done in two coats as well, and, and that's that. Done. Tony, do I need special clear coat to go over single stage paint? No, absolutely not. You could use any type of 2K paint to go over any type of 2K clear coat to go over single stage paint. Tony, when I paint when I paint the car and it has peeling clear coat, can I just spray clear or repaint the thing all over again? Well, you know, this is a common question. I think I answered it maybe a hundred times through the years. Um, if you have a car that has peeling clear coat, okay, you need to sand it down, right, to, to refinish it so you can paint it, okay? You're going through the same exact process of prepping. You might as well put some new color on it, some new base coat, and then clear coat it because it's not guaranteed that it's going to come out nice and match and look well just by putting clear coat over your old paint, okay? It's not going to come out right. You could do it, but it's not going to come out nice, okay? So I really highly recommend if you're going to be doing that, Put two coats of fresh base coat paint on it and then put two fresh coats of clear on it and you got a nice paint job, all right? <laughs> Jack said, single stage works great, but as Tony said, it get, it's very messy. My shoes are now junk. Yeah, so like if you're wearing white sneakers and you're painting a red car, in a garage or even in a spray booth that has good ventilation, you're going to walk out with pink shoes. That's just how it is. Patty says, from the humidity, there is a section on my Honda Civic from the seat to the back tail light that is popping. It wasn't me. It popped after the first correction and second. There are layers. So, yeah, Patty, you're just going to want to sand that down, dolphin glaze it, put some 2K filler primer on it, block it, and you're ready for paint. Okay? A couple of steps, but it'll, it'll go through. When I sand, there's a transition. How do I get it smooth? 
So you, you feather it, okay? You're, of, of course, you're going to have a transition. You're going to feather it, and then you're going to prime it. The primer is going to fill all the transition. And then you're going to sand the primer, and then you're good to go. Yeah, guys, when you're spraying single stage, you, you really want to have good ventilation. Okay, get that paint out of your garage, out of your tent outside, out of your homemade spray booth or out of your shop. You know, whatever you're doing, make sure you got good vent. I mean, you need good ventilation with anything you're painting. Okay, but um, with single stage, man, that shit will gas you out. So be prepared. Be, be COVID pre prepared. <laughs> My primer flashes in the gun. Can it be thin two to one? Yes, you could out. You can always add extra reducer to primer to thin it out. Tony, do body shops fix discontinued cars? I don't see why not. Depends on the body shop. You know, most body shops probably. Yeah, I mean, what kind of car are you talking about? All right, guys. Anyway, I have to head out. I got to go. It's three o'clock here, 3 p.m. I got to get on a, a call a, a, a call for just some personal stuff. I got to get on a call with my wife. All right, guys. So I will be in touch. Talk to you guys soon. Next week, uh, Thursday, same time, we're going to be doing the Q&A. And um, if you guys are not a Learn Auto Body VIP member, Definitely check this site out. You can grab a free 85-page auto body and paint manual right over here. Check out VIP if you want to learn more. And also, if you guys want to check out uh, the recommended spray guns that I use, check out the Atom spray guns. They are really, really good. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I will be back and keep an eye out on YouTube for new videos. We just got one released today, a little while ago. Uh, we'll have more coming up this weekend and the step-by-step the -step projects on the CRV. We're going to start putting out a lot of content now that I'm back in the States. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Have a killer weekend. Well, have a safe weekend. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for Thanks for hopping on, guys. Talk to you later. Yeah, and don't forget to like before you leave. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Peace. Bye.